It's not your typical restaurant dining experience. No servers, no dining hall, no parking lot. These are ghost kitchens, only preparing food for takeout and delivery apps. Just how we are shopping online, we can be eating online as well. This 23-year-old is running a sushi pizza restaurant virtually. Orders ding in from food delivery apps like Uber Eats and Skip the Dishes, and Nguyen and his brother get to work. All of the smaller things wear less orders, then they come through my email and through my phone. As an Uber driver, Nguyen saw many opportunities in the restaurant industry were locked away. There were so many struggling restaurants in Vancouver that only had their kitchen open. All the chairs were stacked on the tables, and I realized that you can start a business out of just a kitchen. He's now one of 12 ghost kitchens, renting this commissary, a shared kitchen space, and a more affordable way to follow his passion for food and beverage rather than a brick and mortar. Definitely don't have a lot of capital to be running my own restaurant, right? But this is a great place for me to test things out, right? Like regular restaurants, ghost kitchens must have a permit, food safe training, and a food safety plan. The Ministry of Health does not have data on how many ghost kitchens operate in BC. But the operator of this commissary kitchen says the demand is red hot. The demand just keeps growing. Our wait list here keeps growing. We're full across the three locations. We can't keep up. Maharaj says about 40 ghost kitchen hopefuls are on a waiting list to use this space. Long wait lists also mean some have to find new solutions, like this. We did want to do a ghost kitchen, but it's just very popular, very like in high in demand right now. There's a uh, long wait lists. So they found a shuttle bus on Kijiji. Uh, it was a relief actually because we were sitting there waiting and just wondering what to do. The bus sits in the parking lot of a brewery and packs food to go and for Uber Eats. Meanwhile, for those working in their respective stations, ghost kitchens have provided a new purpose during the pandemic. We are online. We can change up our menu. We can test different product items. We can start several brands. Flexibility from the kitchen to pick up to your doorstep. Benit Brach, CBC News, Vancouver.